Hey up everyone, welcome to another video. You'll see some short videos from me over the last couple of weeks where I've been out getting prepped. And this is second eyed. I finally got finished off about a week ago. I noticed that feed level had gone down by half in feeder. So I thought it was time to pay a visit. I arrived for first light, which is just before half past six at this time of year. And I had quite a weight on my hands, you know, a little bit sceptical actually. I didn't think any greys were going to turn up, even though I saw some youngsters flitting around. But they were just running past feeder. They weren't paying any attention to it. And I thought it was wind, because it was quite windy. When it's noisy, it makes them nervous. But thankfully, it was about half past eight when first one arrived. I had been watching some jackdaws and I was trying to get ready for a shot. And this one flew off. But then I noticed some had come from behind feeder. And then from right. Had a little bit of a mess about on the floor. But finally come up for a feed. That initial footage with it camcorder. And here it is with one leaf MV200. Apologies for a little bit of shakiness. But I'd got a tripod set up too close to a piece of wood I was resting on. So my movement at rifle were exaggerated in footage. Here it is in 4K. Happy with that. I was just pleased at this point to get one on ground. Like I said before, I were a bit sceptical. Even though feed level had gone down. Generally when I shoot squirrels, they turn up at first light. So we're expecting early arrivals. But I didn't mind, I was sitting eyed, watching wildlife go about the business. I've got that pop-up eyed inside that frame now, so it's nice and comfy. I was just enjoying being out in autumn woodland. Here's one of them that was just skittish. Showed a little bit of interest and buggered off. I tracked it for a while, but it just disappeared into woodland. Here's my hide inside. You can't see it very well. It's quite close quarters, so I don't get a good perspective, but I'd seen some more movement. Got camcorder set up again. I was having a sniff about that first squirrel on the ground, but again, it's intent on feeding. And if it hangs about on feeder too long, I think you all know what's going to happen. Another clean kill, hardly any movement, and here is with ATM 4K Pro. Perfect shot placement, straight in the middle of the head. That's a normal reaction, just kicking its legs a little bit. It's called inhibition, mentioned it before. If you want to see a little bit more about that, what it is, search for Ted's Old Over channel on YouTube 
It gives a really detailed four or five minute explanation of what it is. Some puff balls. I do find this these uh, fungi on this permission. I've been lucky enough to find it this year. Probably got it at the wrong time, but something else has caught my eye. Surprising, really. I went two hours without one actually uh, settling on feeder. And as usual, once one comes, a few more turn up. At this point, I'm really happy. All effort, for effort in the last few weeks has been well worth it. Before I come out, I said some lads to some lads that I knew that I'd be happy with three or four on this session. It's still early. I hope it ain't UK. Other hunters aren't seeing much success at the moment. Here you can see me camcorder. You can see one leaf MV200 uh, day and night vision binoculars. I'm trying to film two different aspects. So you've got camcorder, getting that overall view, a picture at woodland. And MV200, I think it's on uh, times four magnification as a baseline. So that gives you a nice zoomed in view. You'll have to let me know what you think at uh, footage quality and if you like it. Always oh, nice to see these. Is it nut hatch? You climb up and down trees vertically, horizontally. Real little acrobats. Really interesting little bird to watch. And I'm pleased to see them in area. And I'm pleased to see the activity around feeder as well. It's a challenge with two cameras. And then I'm filming with 4K as well, so. I'm getting three sets of cameras rolling, ready to take that shot and hopefully capture some decent footage. As you can tell by now, I've seen somewhere else and I'm getting poised to uh, track wherever it is and get ready to take a shot. This one we're a little bit reluctant to come to the feeder. You see it just at base at tree on the right hand side. And it sits there for a little while, pondering what its next move's gonna be. I see there's a lot of uh, mixed corn I'm using or wheat, same thing really, but a lot on floor. So a new feeder gone down by half, feed level, and they've been scratching food on floor as well, but that could be Jack does as well looking for tasty morsels. shooting well this morning. I'm happy with that again. Love it when they just hit ground. All about timing. There's a little bit of movement there, but I knew when to squeeze trigger. See that perfect shot. Dead before it hit ground. 
That's what we're aiming for every time. They are pests. That they deserve a humane death. As I've mentioned a million times before. I like to show them ultimate respect. And that's to get them in pot. Get them cooked up. Make some lovely dishes out of them. They've seen one of my recent videos. Uh, chicken of the tree. Just a short introduction into how to cook them. Recently just purchased an air fryer. It's absolutely perfect for uh, game meat, chicken, that kind of thing. I spotted some movement to my left and I saw that telltale grey flash. I've got a squirrel just poised on a tree really. Just froze it moment. So I'm getting ready to take a shot. In fairness, that shot went a little bit low. I weren't happy. So I went out, I could tell by its reaction. It were, it were uh, fatally wounded at the base of that tree. I just went out, administered a coup de grace and finished it off. I didn't want it to be suffering. At that point, did a little bit of a pick up. I think that one was a bit nervous because it body counts on floor. So if I'm going to be out there disturbing woodland, I might as well do a pick up at the same time. Now what I've found through experiences if you do break cover, it'll generally take probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes for woodland to settle down again. So you don't disturb it for too long. Here's that little nut hatch again. It's welcome to as much food as it wants. Hopefully, keeps it nice and healthy and strong for winter. It'll have a brood of chicks. In springtime and through summer. And we'll see more of them about in this woodland. It's one of the perfect reasons for controlling grey squirrels. You see an abundance uh, and a uptake in wildlife, particularly little birds like that, that they predate on. They predate on the chicks and they predate on their exits in spring and summer. So every little we do through winter gives them more of a fighting chance into next year. This one come out of nowhere. I didn't have time to react. I didn't have time to get camcorder or MV200 on it. So I just concentrated on taking a shot. As you can see, can't get any better than that. And it's so, so pleasing to know that it's been a swift end. As a shooter, I'm on point. I'm performing. The kit's performing as well. Now, I built this side differently. Again, affected really badly by wind. So I had to take it all down. I built a solid frame that's braced to a couple of trees. I put pop-up hide inside and that's big enough for two people in there. So it's no coincidence. I'm comfy. I'm happy with like conditions and environment. Which means my shooting's on point. I put hide on more level ground as well so I'm not sort of hunched forward. So it's better for my posture. Keeps me relaxed, keeps me happy. I'm hoping to bring an eater into this hide, like a butane gas eater for winter months when it gets really cold. And hopefully that can prolong my sessions and keep me out here a little bit longer. Well, this one actually turned out to be, I think it was six squirrel. And it was the last one at session for me. I'm really pleased with six. I had double figures off this feeder last winter, so I'm expecting the same this year as well. Uh, it's been established a year longer, this feeder. So more squirrels will have moved into local vicinity. 
That's what they do. If you put a feed station up, you'll find out that they build the drays closer to that. Makes sense, really. Why travel from far end up wood when you can move your house or your dray closer to feed station? So that's what you tend to get through winter. Them early ones just after first light or your local ones. And then what you do is you get your travelling squirrels because they will travel for food. And you get them later into the morning into early afternoon. Over the next few weeks, I've kindly been sent some products to test. I've got another Siansky torch, Siansky hunter. So I'll be reviewing that. So there's a review video coming on that. Then a company called Arkin have contacted me. They want me to review a scope. It's a 4 by 16 by 44 first focal plane scope. They retail at quite a decent price. Uh, I've researched them. So I'm looking forward to testing them out, making a couple of additional videos and getting them out as well very shortly. Well, that wraps session up. I just pop squirrels on a, it's an old tree base. It's been cut down clearly. And there you can go. I think there's one youngster in them. Rest are adults. If you look closely, you'll see pinpoint accuracy. Uh, on forum at least, in top of head. Others will be side on shots. So as ever, thanks for watching. I'll see you again in a week or two, depending on uh, whether I'm successful when I get out there. As ever, last job this time of year is to cart another 20kg sack of mixed corn. Get into place, refill feeder. I know it should be good for at least another four weeks then. I can give this feeder a couple of weeks rest and target again. Thanks for watching. See you soon.